for my first build I picked an airplane that's a lot more complicated than I probably should have but there's a history here when I was a teenager I saw a plan in Model Airplane News magazine for a free flight B-66 had a fairly um, creative design in that the the bomb bay was an open area for the air to come in and then there was a ducted fan in the fuselage not in the uh, engine nacelles they were just dummies and it looked pretty cool so I ordered the plans and built the thing well as you can see the fan is an, made out of aluminum which I hand cut out and then bent and as you may know ducted fans have come a long way since then now they have a lot more blades they are specially machined they have quite a bit of thrust I didn't realize that until recently but once I did realize that I knew that I had to go back and try again here's a reenactment of what happened when I tried to fly that plane the first time back in 1957. One problem was that the little gas engine was a Cox .049 which is quite small. Didn't have nearly enough power. As you can see, the plane I'm building now is quite different from the one that I tried to build before. First of all, it's going to be made of foam, which was unheard of back in the day. Also, the wingspan is significantly larger, so it's going to be a bigger airplane. And it will have two engines, like the real plane does, not the one engine in the fuselage and they will be modern ducted fans which should provide quite a bit of thrust. In addition, of course, instead of being a free flight, it's going to be radio control and I am planning to put flaps and retractable gear on it as well. So it should be exciting to see this bird fly.